And God's kingdom means you submit to him. Now, uh, the Holy Spirit changes our relationship with ourself. How? Well, Paul says um, our sinful nature, he says something remarkable has happened in verse 24. He says, those who belong to Christ Jesus, now listen to this, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their sinful nature with its passions and desires. Do you hear what Paul is saying? He's saying that when we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, there is a part of us, that old part of us, that died with Christ on the cross. Our old nature is dead. It was put up with Jesus, and it died with him on the cross. And in Galatians 2, verse 20, Paul has, has, has already said, he said, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Now think about that for a moment. If you are a Christian, if we profess faith in Jesus Christ, then Jesus himself through his Holy Spirit dwells in us and is living in us and our old sinful nature was put to death and is being put to death and we are coming alive to be the new person that God created us to be. So what does that mean? Well, it means that when you recognize these areas of sin in your life, of jealousy or envy or anger or rage, whatever it might be, what are you to do? Well, you identify it and you name it as sin. You say, this is not who I was supposed to be. This is a part of my sinful nature, and I need to put it to death. And the story is told of St. Augustine. I've told this probably before. Maybe you've heard it, heard me say it before. But uh, Augustine, you may know, was an early church father. He lived around the, uh, in the very, very early uh, fourth century. Um, he was raised by a Christian mother. His father was kind of out of the picture, but his mother loved him and did her best to teach Augustine the, the Bible and, and lead him in the gospel. But he rejected all of that for a long, long time. And he, in fact, went to live a life that he would probably tell you just captured the life of the flesh. All those things that we read there in, in the earlier part of the text, Augustine did it all. Well, he was converted to Christ later on in life, and he became uh, a, just a brilliant philosopher and thinker and church leader um, in the early church. Now, one day he goes back to visit the little hometown where he was from, and lo and behold, there's some of the people from his past there that came to meet him, people that you know he once knew in his old sinful lifestyle, including a young woman that he had had some relationship with, some illicit relationship. And uh, she tries to get his attention. She tries to sort of seduce him again. And she, you know, he kind of ignores her, doesn't pay much attention, and she kind of turns up the heat all the more, trying to capture his attention. And he just resists. And finally, this woman gets exasperated. She says, Augustine, don't you see? It is I. And Augustine looks over and he says, Ah, but it is not me anymore. So he was getting at that idea that that person you once knew is dead. And I'm a new person. 